Hey guys, this is Animan, and it's time once again that we find out what's in the box! Okay, so as you've probably seen in the letters portion, I had a whole mount of letters that you guys have sent me and they were fantastic letters by the way and a lot of them are pretty heartfelt but now it is time that we shall go into what could be the more interesting aspect the one that will contain a lot more surprises and that is the packages portion and i already got a whole bunch of them right over here so i think i shall begin with the first one which is right on top and it is from pokematic and apparently I have been getting uh, letters and, me well not really like letters like these, but I've been getting messages from Pokematic that he is very excited for me to open up this one and he's like highly anticipated for this. So Pokematic, this one is for you. So let's see what the fridge are you excited about and hopefully I know how to open this correctly. Okay, first of all, do we have any letters in here? Just need to double check on this. Uh, do we have a letter? Oh, yes, we do. Yes, we do. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. So I guess it's stuck on this book. I just need to open this up. Okay, thank you very much. So, it says here, <clears throat> Dear Animat, this is not a troll gift. Okay, small troll. Uh, but the joke is that you could do whatever you want with it. Uh, do one of those, uh, deranged colored pages things, uh, when you go and make crazy scenes from crazy additional lines or colors. You know, the color and dress, but some artists make it look like lingerie thing. Oh, you mean like taking children's coloring books and make them a little bit like adult themed or make them a little bit more dark. I gotcha. Sincerely, Pokematic. Uh, let's see. Uh, P.S. I have no shame for this as you threw out my awesome Shrek letter last uh, in the last gift. Now no one will know how we already have Shrek 5 thanks to all the spin-offs and how we Shrek fans should ask for Shrek 6, 7, and even 42. Uh, they also won't know my amazing ability to steal jokes from Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, so don't call me on this activity book that is so bad. Toys R Us was practically giving it away in its final days. Uh, this is on you, my friend. Uh, my free, my friend, uh, or my friend, and that is a reference to, oh, hi, Tommy. Okay, I'm going to, uh, confess that, um, what he is referring to is that apparently in the last episode, uh, he did send me a gift, and I accidentally forgot to check if there was any letters or anything, and I just went straight to the packages. So, for that Pokematic, I sincerely apologize for my own stupidity on that, and going in a little bit too faster than I should. So, that was all my bad, and I sincerely apologize. Uh, <clears throat> anyways, let's see what the fridge we got here. Oh, let's see. Oh boy! The Emoji Movie Ultimate Coloring and Activity Book. Oh god, so yeah, this is all an activity book based on the godforsaken Emoji Movie. And you know what? I'm just gonna say right now, because of what you wrote to me, I'm actually not upset that I got this. And I'll tell you why. Because you actually gave me a brilliant idea of actually doing what you said. You know, that whole like, oh, take this children's coloring book, which in this case is the Emoji Movie, and add in some provocative lines to make it a little more shocking. So, I'm not gonna lie, that's actually a pretty good idea, and I might take your idea on it. I might actually think of, of like, one crazy idea. It depends on the stuff that this would provide me. If there's enough material to actually do something crazy with it, so... I don't know, who knows, but yeah, this this will be quite interesting and I get I get why you want to do that as uh, revenge. So again, sorry for that, but yeah, this is going to be uh, a lot of fun, I must say. <laughs> All right. So, with that said, let's go and move on to our next one, which is going to be from Justin Kennan. Yeah, it's been a while since I've heard from the dude. I wonder how have you been doing, Justin? Uh, let's see now. How the fridge do we open this? Ah, right here. Perfect. And let's see now. Ah, and here is his uh, letter. I don't think it's from this one. Oh, here we go. 
Happy birthday, Animat! From this, uh, old how to draw book from my childhood, as I don't draw, I thought you could use it or give to a young family member who loves dinosaurs. Uh, it's really old, so be careful with it. The other side is a page from my first draft of my manuscript. Oh, that's why. Okay. Uh, let's see. I didn't want to waste paper by just throwing it away. In other news, I got a new job at Meat Packaging Plant, and it pays better than my last job and has benefits. Uh, I hope, uh, oh, I hope that I can come back and become a patron once again soon. Happy birthday, um, early or belated, Justin Cannon. Oh, that is amazing, and congratulations, Justin. That's really cool. All right, and apparently, once again, I do get a coloring book. Actually, no, stop that. I also got another part. Uh, P.S. I got some movie pins on my eBay account. Uh, they are start- oh, they are starting only a dollar each. Okay, or maybe one of your other fans will buy them for you. Uh, P.P.S. Have, uh, have you Mr. Enter videos- about being her oh have you seen it yes i have and i talked about it in my podcast of course okay that's it i'm done i'm done have a great day okay there we go and now we could get into the uh dinosaur coloring book which once again i got another coloring book uh let's see okay okay drawing dinosaurs uh have some of them oh it's how to draw dino oh this isn't a coloring book this is how to draw dinosaurs Oh, that is actually quite fascinating, you know? Really nice, really nice. And especially that, you know, and especially I have already talked about a lot of animated dinosaur movies. And uh, just recently, as of this video, not, uh, like I already released my You Are Uma Show review. So um, I, I, I am kind of sticking to a dinosaur theme. So uh, this is really nice. So thank you very much, Justin. Really cool, really cool. Okay, so now we're gonna go into the big boxes right here, so let's start things off with uh, this one, which it is a big square, but surprisingly, it's actually kind of light, and hopefully there's nothing too expensive in this that could be breakable, because I was spinning it like a fool. Okay, let's see now. Uh, now I just need to open this bad boy, see what it is. Okay, well, of course, we gotta check if there is even a letter. And, uh, nope, it's just, uh, it just says that I got a mask. <laughs> Apparently, that's all it is. It's just, uh, a Phantom of the Opera mask. So, hold on a sec. Just need to make sure I wear this correctly. Alright. How the fridge do you even... How is this possible? Like, do I just... Hold on. Just need to make sure... Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. Okay, hold on a sec. Did I get it right? Do I look weird? Hold on a sec. It's just I'm wearing a mask and like I'm wearing glasses. Nope. Oh boy. Hold on a sec. Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, oh, there we go. And now I look very nice for the music of the night. And I think for the rest of this video, I might as well be wearing this because why the fridge not? Okay. So anyway, so let's go ahead into our uh, next one right over here. Uh, which is, uh, from the UK, from Jose Sonic Boom. Uh, which, holy crap, it's already open. Okay. Well, I think, well, that's more like the, the Canada Post that's, uh, to blame on that. So, let's see what we got here. Uh, let's see. Holy crap, uh, we actually have a whole bunch of stuff now. Okay, and it states right over here. Okay, well, okay. So, hopefully... We won't damage anything of this. Okay. Uh, hello, Animat. It's Jose Sonic Boom again. Or Joe Sonic Boom. Uh, with my sixth letter. You don't mind me numbering my letters, right? Uh, with my previous letter, I decided to include my Ralph Bakshi tweets because it's so cool that Ralph liked my animation lookback poster and thought it would be great to share it with you, most for proof. Uh, the month of June was great, mostly celebrating my 22nd birthday and especially my YouTube channel on June 3rd because now it, ju uh, it just turned 10 years old. To celebrate it, I've finished my third and final part of my college film, Old Time Bruce, which I should have done months ago. Also, this will be a special anniversary themed letter. Uh, I, I would have sent this letter in June, but I was busy making the final part, so I had to wait four months. As for what I have been doing recently, I got a new, grant, uh, a new gaming laptop to support 
the graphical specs of two programs like Nuke and Maya. Uh, Nuke is the main program that filmmakers always use in movies. It's very advanced, but in my case, uh, it's a bit too advanced for being very convoluted and frustrating when it comes to blue and green screens because it always comes out transparent like the effects of Draws 3D. I wish the blue green screen composition was simple as yours, but I have to make it, make some test videos, so I am getting the hang of it. Maya, on the other hand, is a very fun CGI modeling software. Building whatever you want with the program is really cool. Uh, what I built so far is three star uh, three star ships of the USS Enterprise, uh, an Imperial at at Walker, Thunderbird One, and the absolute hardest creation to model in Maya, which is the light cycle from Disney's Tron, mostly for its round natures. I have included images from my Maya Troll light cycle in the classic uh, classic Enterprise, but this time, but for uh, time of this video, I'll only show just two to be short. Okay, I think with all that said, that will be from uh, uh, Joe Sonic Boom. So we also got like uh, a whole bunch of uh, of papers. We all got a whole bunch of drawings here. So just a, a quick uh, quick look. So we got uh, Epic Matt right over here. Then next up, what we got is uh, Dragon Slayer, a pretty nice drawing. Uh, we also got his uh, drawings right over here of uh, his uh, light cycle and the USS Enterprise. Uh, let's see, we also got a tribute drawing of uh, Ray Harryhausen. Uh, then also we see uh, many of his uh, creations, for example. Uh, then, finally, I do believe it would be the last one right over here, which is uh, a bunch of monsters, including Jaws, Alien, Predator, King Kong, War of the Worlds, and uh, Godzilla. So that's all that. But on top of that, we also got a whole bunch of extra stuff in here. Like, uh, we got this uh, big DVD case of uh, old time, uh, old-timer Bruce. So we got that. Uh, then, next up, we got a whole bunch of little things right over here. Holy crap. Need to make sure I can get them all at once. There we go. I think that should be good. Okay, so we got uh, well, we got like a variety of freaking things. I don't think I got time to really show them to you all, but a few examples is like I got a Sonic sticker. Um, I got like I don't know something out of my like creations from Minecraft. Uh, we got like well, we have like uh, Sonic the Hedgehog right over here. Oh, we got. Apparently we got it. Oh my god, it's an old Yu-Gi-Oh card of uh, DD Warrior Lady. I remember when she was a pretty useful card. Holy crap, do people still use DD Warrior Lady? Uh, apparently we also got the Bat Credit card, and we got the logo from Dragon uh, from Mortal Kombat, and uh, a whole other variety of stuff, and also of course an Ocarina. Holy crap! So. Uh, with all that said, uh, thank you very much, Joe. Very awesome. Really, really nice. Uh, okay, so the next thing that we got here, actually, hold on a sec. I don't think I'm going to be wearing this uh, for the whole time because I'm going to be very honest. This thing keeps pushing on my nose, like, on the side, and it's already making a part of my face sweaty. Like, this thing is going to burn up my face to where I take it off and I'll really look like the Phantom. Okay, so... Not, I will put this on the side. I'm not going to throw it out. Don't worry. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, I will just go and, uh, which one? Any mini money? Eh, why not? Okay, I'll open you up. Yes, it is an Amazon Prime box, but apparently, uh, it's already been used. So it looks like it might actually have a letter here. So this is from Mark Petit. So let me just go. Hold on. Something fell. I just need to pick that thing back up. There we go. Okay, so... Now to go and pick this up, yeah, I think I might have to blow my nose afterwards because, like, it made my nose hot and, like, the mucus inside is just like, Okay, time to go into faucet mode. Oh, boy. I'll do that after once I'm done with all this. Okay. But, anyhow, let's go ahead. Do we have a letter right over here? Nope. Uh, Mark Petit just sent me a bunch of DVDs. So, uh, they're all Pokemon Advanced Battles. So, we got... Uh, 8 ain't enough with a Whiskash. Uh, we also got Meowth and, uh, crap. What's his name again? Oh, Grovile. That's what, that's what I thought. So we got Meowth and Grovile in, uh, Shocks and Bonds. And finally, we got Onyx and Articuno for Numero, uh, what is it? Numero Uno Articuno. So we got all this here. So, uh, thank you very much for the, uh, DVDs, Mark. Really cool, really cool. Okay, so our next one that we got, it's, uh, might as well go with this big box here, see what it is. And, uh, this one is gonna be from Brian Walsh. So let's see what Brian shall have for us 
This time, just gonna go and open this bad boy up. Okay, there we go. And, okay, I think just one more swipe. There we go. That should do it. Ah, yes. Okay, and we even got a card here. Ooh, very fancy. Okay, holy crap. It is not a naturally shaped card. It is not square. It is not a rectangle. It is round. It's a round card. It's a baseball. It's a baseball card. Let's see here. Uh, great guy. Great birthday. Hope this one really knocks it out of the park. Uh, happy birthday, your pal Brian. Oh, that's very sweet. Okay. So, we got that card. Uh, might as well put it here. Okay. Holy crap, I got so much to clean up. So, apparently what I got... Oh, look at this. So, I got a Funko of King Mickey from uh, Kingdom Hearts. Which is actually very interesting because not too long ago, I actually did buy a Funko of uh, Sorcerer Mickey, like, as part of the special 90th anniversary one, so, yeah, why not? I mean, like, more Mickey, like, now I got, like, several, I think I got, like, four different Mickey Funko Pops. I got the Epic Mickey one, I got the regular one, I got the Sorcerer's Apprentice, and now I got the Kingdom Hearts one as well. Might as well add into my Mickey Funko collection. And also, apparently we got... What is said to be a magic eight ball, but it's Mario themed. So it's pretty much a question block. That's actually very interesting. So I, I don't know. Like, I think it's been a long, long time since I've owned a legitimate magic eight ball, but I guess this one would actually count. So uh, I don't know. Um, I, let, let's go ahead and ask a question. So am I going to get some great, uh, are these packages are gonna have something awesome. What do you think? And it says, hold on. Ah, uh, that's the thing with these Magic 8 Balls is that, uh, come on, open up. Show me something. Sorry, I'm a tired. Oh, well, I got a lazy freaking Magic 8 Ball. Well, no wonder, okay. No, but Brian, I will say thank you so much. Uh, these gifts are actually really, really awesome. Okay, so our next one right over here, we're gonna go into this one, which is going to be from uh, Bender, I believe. I think that's how you say, uh, I think that's the name. First, let me go and check if there is an actual card in there. Oh yes, there actually is. There is a letter. And uh, let me see, there is actually several things. Uh, let's see, holy crap, we even got a whole bunch of uh, pictures. Uh, so I'll start with this one. So it says here, <clears throat> all right. Oh, it's from Alex. Hey, Adamat, Alex again. Yeah, I know I said that I wouldn't be sending, uh, I know I said that I wouldn't be sending something in October, but here I am anyways. I just want to say first that all, uh, oh, I, I just want to say first of all that I wasn't the one who sent the actual big fat mini picture in the last episode. It was just a complete sheer coincidence that it had my drawing of you reenacting the scene both uh, appeared in the same episode. Wow, that is amazing. Anyways, uh, 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 anyway, said episode was uploaded while I was at Disneyland Paris, which was expected uh, was just amazing. Even though unfortunately Phantom Manor was closed for refurbishment and my mom did get sick, uh, we still had an amazing time and did 98% of the rides and attractions we wanted to do. So here are the questions. Uh, have you seen or heard or rented the film Lou Over the Wall? If so, what are your thoughts on it? Uh, I'm just going to say right now, no, I have not seen it, but I did hear of it, and it does look pretty interesting, I will say. Also, uh, what are your thoughts on Disney and Pixar's recent plot twist villains trend since Mr. Enter and YouTube Pooper, uh, Shafrilla's uh, Sha production made random videos saying that when the twist is revealed at the climax of the movie like Frozen is to Zootopia, it only makes them weak villains and almost ruins the movie entirely. Personally, while I do agree it's getting very predictable at this point, I don't think it really hurts the movie anyway. Honestly, I would disagree a little bit. They're not bad villains, and if the movie is good, then they can actually be very effective. Uh, the only problem is that Disney has been doing it quite a lot, like one in a row. Like, okay, it's fine that they would do it in Wreck-It Ralph, but then they start doing it again in like Frozen, and then they do it again in Zootopia, and then it would continue on, and then like even in Moana, there isn't like an official villain, like a prominent villain that is seen throughout the film. Yeah, there's like Tefiti, and then there is also, or is it Teka? Yeah, I think it's Teka, I mean. Uh, Taka and Tamatoa, but they're not necessarily villains that you see all throughout the film. 
So that's the kind of the problem right there. It's just the fact that they're doing it a little too much. Okay, so, uh, finally, for your birthday this year, I have sent you a Roy Lichtenstein drawing I made in high school and a Blu-ray and region-free DVD. Uh, I've also sent you some photos of my trip, including some of me and my mom and my brother Scott with me, uh, some of the characters and some souvenirs like my Mushu drawing from the animation attraction at the new Sorcerer Mickey statue. Uh, hope you love them and, uh, all, oh, I hope you love them all and have an awesome birthday from Alex. P.S. Most Blu-rays from the UK are region free. I've always made sure of that before I send you one out. Ah, okay, I see. Okay, thank you very much, dude. So, apparently, first of all, uh, we got this, uh, ooh, a really nice, uh, rising sun drawing from Alex right here. And also, uh, we do have, like, a whole series of pictures and, uh, also, on top of that, like, here's his, uh, little drawing that he did of, uh, Mushu himself. I don't know if you can see it clearly, but, uh, we also got, like, a series of a series of pictures, uh, during his time at Disneyland Paris, which I remember, like, I was there, uh, many years ago. It was during the 15th anniversary, and, uh, I'll show you, like, this one. And, uh, I remember it was the 15th anniversary and I think I was like, it was back in 2007, so I think I was like 14 or 15 at the time. I was very young, but if ever the chance I get back to Paris, then I'll go back to there for sure. Anyways, let's take a look. Oop. Uh, excuse me. Let's take a look at the presents, which, uh, I'll start this. Behold, beneath the wrapping paper is a legendary, underrated Italian animated film that you have been searching for uh, far and wide, but always was too expensive until today. Ooh, let me see. All right, let's see what we got here. And, uh, oh my god, is this for real? Oh my god, it's for real. Holy crap. Man, did, did that did that cost you that much? Did it cost you anything? Oh my god, hold on a sec. I need to open this. Holy crap, I never thought I'd see the day, but someone legitimately did it. Holy crap. It's a freaking... Oh, it's fresh. It's new. It is a... Ah, there we go. I legit got a DVD of Allegro Non Tropo. I love this movie. It's an Italian... Yeah, it's like completely Italian, but... Oh my god, this film is just absolutely amazing. You might remember this as my number one underrated animated film. The DVDs are stupidly expensive, yes, but holy crap, I can't believe I get to actually own this and... I gotta go and test it out to see, just to make sure, like, if it actually does work. Hopefully there is no, uh, restrictions or no region, uh, locks or anything like that. Holy crap, I finally get to have this. Alright, the next one that we got here. Here is a Disney animated classic about the forbidden friendship that also marked the end of the era in animation history. Er, uh, really? Okay, so apparently I also got here. It is... Ah, there we go. Apparently, I got the Blu-ray of The Fox and the Hound. So, I got... So, this is actually two really fascinating editions. And, uh, let me just say, Alex, thank you so much. This is actually really, really cool. Oh, my God. I can't wait to try these out. Okay. Now, with that said, I think it's time that we can go and move on to the Amazon boxes. So, there won't be much letters or anything like that. So let's go and start with this one. Now let's see what we are going to get right over here. And uh, let's see now. Yes, right here. It's an Amazon. Oh boy, this is uh, pretty hefty for what seems to be a Blu-ray or a DVD. Dear Animat, movies about dogs are great. Here's one that is pretty recent, done, uh, done by a critically acclaimed director and is already hailed as an instant classic from Daniel. Okay. So, let's see what we would have right over here, just to make sure. Uh, get rid of all this, good god. Okay, there we go, okay. I think I finally got this, there. Yes. Now, I can finally open to see what this is. And I got right now... Oh, no! Oh, no! I was a... No! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> Oh no! Oh god! Oh no! That, I think that's all I could say about this. Oh no! 
Oh no! Oh my god! Oh god! I never thought I would actually own that thing. Holy crap! I got freaking show dogs, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh okay, god! Okay, now let's go and move it to this bigger box, which um, doesn't seem that heavy. So I wonder what this one is all about. Just need to make sure what this could be. Uh, let's see. We got a note here. Hi, Matt. Happy late or early birthday. Here's another plush. Uh, this is a beloved character from a popular franchise. Uh, I'm also excited for its upcoming movie next year from Heinrich. Okay, so, uh, Heinrich has some very fascinating, uh, anime stuff that he would often bring. So let's see, what is this plush of? And apparently, oh, oh, this is not, this is not an anime at all. Holy crap. I need to open this bad boy. Oh, yeah. Check it out. It's a toothless plushie! Yeah, it's a cute little toothless plushie. His face looks a little bit mangled, but uh, I'm sure a few squishes can go and fix that. But yeah, I got a toothless plushie! Oh my god, that is really awesome. Alright, thank you very much. No wonder that box was pretty light. Okay, finally, with that said, we got one more box. And this thing... Oh, fudge! This is heavy! Someone brought me something... Quite heavy, I must say. So I don't know what the fri- Okay, well, uh, that kind of spoils the surprise. Well, I think, uh, what the fridge- Is there- Oh, here we go. In case you needed to register the Japanese Ghostbuster from Ohedie Boshen. So, apparently, I got a whole freaking book on illustrations about Japanese D- Yeah, I think this is all, like- this is an entire book showing illustrations of Japanese demons. Holy crap. Um, I also got a Criterion... Oh my god, I never thought they even have this. It's a Criterion Blu-ray of Jean Cocteau's Beauty and the Beast. And uh, let's see, what we got here is a soundtrack of Jean-Michel Jarre. And it's... Um, Apparently, this is the entire Oxygen Trilogy. Holy crap. Man, this is actually... I'm telling you, this is actually pretty epic, I must say. And with all that said, wow, that is pretty much going to be it for this episode. Now, let me tell you right now, this was certainly a wild ride. And I want to go and immediately thank... Everybody who has sent me not only a letter, but also who has sent me a package. This definitely was a fun and exciting episode. And for the next one, we are going to be celebrating Christmas. So, um, hope you got some uh, pretty exciting holiday ideas. But for now, um, I'll leave you guys just thinking about that. And uh, let you enjoy the rest of your day. So with all that said, once again, I just want to thank everybody for watching this video and also who sent me a letter, a letter and a package. And until next time, see you later, dudes.